What's up, Seekers? Welcome to the last Todd World of 2020. I think all we can say in good conscience about this year is uh, <clears throat> good riddance. If you're like me, this has been a frustrating and um, difficult year. I, I do hope our 2021 is going to be better. Um, I don't think it's going to be an immediate cure-all. Uh, in other words, I don't think January 1st is going to see flowers and candy uh, for all of us. Uh, I think we still have some challenges ahead of us, and we'll... Uh, overcome this year. It will be what it will be, and we will take the challenges as they come. Hopefully, things will improve for all of us. And so, But um, uh, as I shared last week, um, I, I, I originally started playing around with this channel because I wanted to play with video editing software and experiment and explore, and ultimately to escape a bit. And so, my efforts to kind of escape the stress and the frustration, thus Todd World was born. So I want to do some things uh, this year uh, to see where it goes, if it goes at all. So I want to do a little bit of a challenge for us, uh, this thing. But first, let's do the cheesy intro. If your world has been overwhelmed and you just need to get away, you can rest in mind for a few minutes. Welcome to Todd World. Well, 2021 will be a year of challenges, but I want to explore a different kind of challenge. Right now, in the book world, everyone's talking about read harder challenges. These are kind of like New Year's resolutions. We do them every year. We make these commitments. And unfortunately, many of us, we just don't follow through. But it has become a thing. And I think it's a good thing. I hear of many who start them, but never finish them. And I know a few have finished them, but then walk away with, like, well, that was really kind of a waste. Um, especially if you get stuck with a really bad book. This is the worst book ever written in English. Well, maybe not that bad, but even a bad book can teach us something uh, about ourselves or the universe or something. <laughs> Anyway, about the challenges. Now, there are some interesting ones out there, uh, but I find them a bit problematic. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I love the idea, and in a minute, I'm actually going <clears> to <throat> share with you my Read Harder Challenge uh, for you to look at, ignore, follow along, or do with whatever you will. I mean, after all, I think we should read more. But why should we actually read more and read harder? Everything you'd want to read is right here. Feel it. Feels good, right? I would agree. Everything you do need can be found in a book somewhere. And it's important, too, that we learn to read. I know you how to read, but do you know how to read? You know, with a critical eye. Uh, sure, we want to entertain ourselves, and escapism is part of that. But at the same time, remember, uh, every writer wants to tell you something, uh, even even if it's in entertainment. But it's only a story. It's not real. That's not always true, little man. But in the event, reading expands our horizon, educates us, challenges our perceptions and our biases. And in the end, it does change us. Words and ideas can change the world. That's exactly correct ideas do change the world. Now, I know there are some popular ones out there. Uh, I'll link them to there if you want to go explore those. And, and please, if you want to do them, great, do them. You don't have to do mine. I mean, I know uh, Book Riot has one they do uh, for, been doing for quite a while. Uh, I found uh, Pop Sugar is uh, a place that uh, has a, a Read Harder challenge. And I like them, but... <sighs> I've browsed them with interest, and, and please do. I, I don't want to bash them at all. I don't want to discourage people from taking on these challenges. They're great. Because some of these categories, I think, why do I want to do that? Why do I read that? For example, um, read a book that you don't like the cover. What? Okay. Um, or read a book about a pet that doesn't die. Okay, well, if I already know the ending, why do I want to read it like that? I, I don't know. And so, or a dark academia book. And I went, what is dark academia? Someone giving me academic ways to destroy the world? <clears throat> not, not that I would want to do that. Or was something 
broken on the cover. I get it. I get it. They're trying to kind of challenge you and give you some variety, something do, have some fun with it. Interesting, push yourself challenges. I get that, but that just seems to me stretching it a bit. But I, I want us to explore this differently from a different approach. In the end, we only have so much time to read. And, you know, let's be honest, some of you don't have many years left. <clears throat> So we need to be a little selective sometimes in, in what we read. I've decided I want to create a list that's, well, a little bit different. And instead of just random books that, you know, I got pretty specific on what I want to read. I have 19 books on this list. I know the read hard challenges usually go for 24 and I am going to read 24. In fact, I'm going to shoot for 30 this year. You don't have to follow along. You don't have to try to do that. I recognize some of you don't have as much time uh, as, uh, as uh, I've ended up with. And who knows, my uh, schedule may change. Uh, suddenly, I don't have uh, as much time as I have now. But that is my goal in this. And so, now why 19? And basically, what I've done is I went looking to find out what are the best books of 2020. I basically found a list which had several of the, the major book awards. The Pulitzer Prize, uh, the Nobel Prize for Literature, uh, the National Book Award, the Women's Award. Uh, and I, I started looking, what are the big awards? So I did. I went out for all kinds of different genres and things. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to read these. I want to read what has been considered the best books by all the experts in various genres. Throw in some categories that I wanted to push my stuff off. These are the things that I want to read. So I put this list together uh, in this process. And I'll, again, I'll share it below. Now, I added two other books, all right, because in the end, there was only like 17 books on there that I was looking at. I, I wanted to read a weighty biography, so I, I added Obama's biography to the list. I want to tackle that one. And then one of my cubs suggested a, an author to me. Uh, his name is Raymond Carver, and uh, he's a short story, American short story writer. And I thought, you know what? That is one of the things I want to do with this channel. If you recommend some stuff, I want to put that on my wish list there. So I left out some category slots. Also remember, I am trying to read through the 1001 books, the New York Times bestseller list of 1916, uh, as well as my Russian literature uh, project that I've been doing. So I've got several books in there. So I am going to get the 24 books for sure. That is the primary goal. But I am going to go for a stretch goal uh, of 30 books, of six more. And uh, I'm going to go for it. I'd invite you to come along. Now, I'll talk about these books, but not every week. I do want to do some of the similar things that I've been doing before. So please comment below. Let me know. Do you have a reading challenge? Uh, let me know what your goals are. In the end, I don't want to turn this into a book club channel, all right? As much as I would like to talk with you when I do talk about these authors that I'll introduce to you uh, and do want to hear from you. I do want to hear comments from you uh, and, and, and dialogue uh, with you uh, about some of these books. I still want to talk about others because, again, I really hope to introduce or reintroduce uh, you to some great cultural gems of the past um, that... I think are getting lost, uh, even to this younger generation. Oh, get off my lawn! Uh, no, actually, I don't want you to get off my lawn. I want people to actually be on the lawn because I, I want to explore with them. I want them to explore with me. I want you to read harder. I want you to watch harder. I want you to listen harder. Because ultimately, I'm hoping that all of us can be more today and know more today than we did yesterday. It's that process of being well-rounded. So, well, for now, <laughs> uh, I guess um, I just want to say Happy New Year uh, and uh, see where this channel goes, if anywhere, uh, in 2021. Um, and just go along for the ride. I hope you'll join me. So uh, please subscribe, hit that like button, uh, help a brother out, share the video uh, with someone. Let's explore the world of culture together. Well, do we make the 10 minutes? Really? Well, that bodes well. So uh, should I end out with some orchestration uh, music theme over the closing intro? <laughs> Wow, if you're going to act out like that and...
damage those books, I, I guess we'll just do it the regular way and just go from there. So anyway, hey, to my Cubs, wherever you are, I miss you. I really miss you. I love you. And uh, stay safe.